Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, as you can see, I got the trebuchet up here on the hover jack, and uh, we're going to get this thing working a little bit better today. I've been thinking about what I can do. Uh, one of the issues I think is happening is we've got too much weight in the front here, and that's sort of wedging the wheels sort of diagonally in there, so it's not really rolling as good as it should. So, I'm... I was originally thinking of putting two two more beacons over here, but I'm thinking about it now. Maybe I'll actually just move two of them over there. I'll keep the, the air blades on this side. Uh, someone also suggested something I was thinking about too, is uh, moving this stop bar back, because realistically it doesn't need to be back any further than here. Uh, when it's releasing the ball, it's actually releasing it here, so it's basically going straight. It's already losing its... its... It's distance because it's not going up anymore, it's just going down. Uh, another one I was thinking about too is this little catch here. Let's see if we can take this off. And I think that was actually sort of catching the ball. If I can get it to roll out, maybe it'll work a little bit better. Uh, I was also uh, originally put the jack on the, on the in the front here. And I discovered something interesting about this because I put it right under right here. And I'll actually do this right now to test it out with the jack there, I have the one on the other side, I'll fill that in, do this and that, and now I started lifting it up, but what I didn't realize was it wasn't lifting this, it was actually, it's actually lifting the beacons, and it's not going to do it now because I have the other jack there, alright, that Makes sense, but I was trying to lift the whole thing up, and the suspension's just rocking back and forth. And I look, and the beacons are like halfway up. It's like, what's going on? Uh, the reason why I also lifted this up too is I wanted to extend this out and get uh, another set of wheels in the front because it's definitely front heavy, like seriously front heavy. Then I'll just go ahead and think I don't have to worry about any structural fatigue at this point in time. Uh, when when that becomes a thing. I definitely have to start rethinking really about what I do. Alright, and then uh, I gotta get the suspension on. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get some good distance on the, the balls now. Uh, can't remember their name, I think it was Sass uh, had provided me a few links on like proper launch angles and sort of like weight of the count, uh, like the weight of the counter weight in relation to the length of the arm and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into details like that. I just wing it. <laughs> I wear you, make it work. In most cases, I'm successful. Uh, what do I, need? I don't need air blades. Uh, we'll get another set of wheels and hopefully I have enough resources on me. Uh, let's see. Rambling on here. I just want to get this thing finished. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, I got to make sure I have two block gap. So that's two. Put the wheel right on top. That's not the wheel. Okay. This will definitely help. I don't think I'll worry about the back too much. Come on. That's what I like is having that floating snap. Because if you really want to have something just hanging off one, one corner, it really comes in handy. Please don't only got enough juice. Or resources. I do. Alright. This is starting to look like something I built in the very beginning. Okay, and. Crank the suspension up. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Now. Uh, how am I going to do this? It's actually. It's the only reason why I actually lifted this up is just to get the front wheels on. Uh, no, will not drop it down. I died once already. It's not happening again. All right. I'm safe. You're lucky. You're safe. You're sitting behind a screen. Nothing's going to happen to you. Okay, so... This is where the jack on the front is going to come in handy. I'll go ahead and put that. That's not the right spot. 
and battery. You know, one good thing about my inventory always being a mess. Anytime I want to build something, I always have the space. I always have it on me. All right, I'm gonna plant this just because, just because I don't trust it. And as you can see, it actually lifts the beacons up, which I thought was interesting. I guess it takes the highest center of mass or um, highest structure. Oh, relax. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, going to the side here. And I think. See if we can be daring about this. I took the block off my power. I might make a suggestion to start adding uh, different background music tracks. <laughs> it does kind of get a little repetitive. But you can sort of see what I'm talking about here about that lean. Like these posts here are straight but you look at those two blocks and they're start out starting to lean in a little bit so if I put the beacon here it's gonna equalize oh that's in the wrong spot what am I doing here uh, if that's something you've never seen before then you might want to look back a few <laughs> few videos on my channel you probably see that happen quite a bit uh, okay where are those beacons again Okay, let's see if I can get that right on the... Quit snapping to that. Actually... You know what? I'm gonna put a couple more blocks there. I'll behave. All I gotta say is a definite improvement. Stuff like this when I first started was not possible. I would have died like three times by now. Are you not going to snap there? Come on. There you go. Impressive. Alright, let's get a couple more here. I'm so used to having four on my bar. And I... Uh, So I don't trust Hover Jack. I always plant it if I can. That's okay, we're almost done here. There we go. Let's get out of here before it kills me. We're okay. Just a hoverjack. Uh, let's turn it off, see what happens. I think that should work. Let's give it a bit of a test run here. Oh, damn it. So I hate about having this tool sometimes. Still seems a little back heavy. Alright, let's lift up and see what happens. I'm not going to lift up now. Oh, now we have a problem. Alright, quick fix. Alright, so I did a little bit of modifying. Uh, the beacons on the back there was a little too much, so I put six tons on the back plus the beacons in the front. We'll see how it goes. I haven't adjusted the stops yet, but I put the switch here. I probably put a little bit too high. Uh, 
Might actually put it down here. Well, hello, physics. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I broke it. And it fixed itself. You guys are great. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, for next week, since I'm off, I'm actually going to see if I can get a hold of developers and see if they got a, a little bit of a challenge for me. Take on a request from the developers and see see what I can see what I can pull off. Uh, let's actually leave that. I was going to put that back, but let's see if we can get this out a little bit more. I don't think it needs to go all the way. Just pretty much where it's at right now. Let's actually make this back to brown. And somehow I don't feel safe being up here doing this, but it's all in the name of science. And stupidity. Can't forget stupidity. Ah, we'll go one more. Should we Let's see? Yeah, I think we'll be good there. Okay. I'm actually gonna do a quick save here. I'm gonna take that little little slope out from underneath. Cause I think that caused it to have a little tantrum, so give me a second. Okay. So now, let's see if I can get this little guy out without destroying the whole thing. Awesome. Alright, turn you on. Come on. Lifts up, no problem. Yeah. Look out. Nice, we gotta test this right now. Okay. Oh. I walked into that one. Oh, my staging post isn't high, as high as it was. That means I'm not getting full weight transfer. That'd be simple enough. I think I just put a little bar here. Let me... Actually, let's just drop it. It's always fun to watch. At the same time, too, I'm going to rewire it. Move that switch. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful shot. First, before I forget... Turn you off, and then connect you to the generators. And you go to... Come on, oh, I can't fit in there. Okay. So now, let's go back up here. That's actually sitting it up. Good spot, you almost look like you're clipped in there, aren't you? No, you're good. Okay, now the fun part, taking this apart without breaking it. Or anything else that may in be in behind. Oh yeah, because I don't have that slope there anymore. Kind of makes me curious now. Oh, it's not actually touching the rollers. Am I moving it? I think I am. No, I'm not. Hmm. Could always winch it. I know what I can do. Let me fix this. You know what? I know exactly what it is. 
Uh, what I should do, and this is actually a smart idea, let's do this. Uh, what it is, is now it's sitting flat on the ground, which means it's going to align the bottom block, which just happens to be square, so it sits flat on the ground. Realistically, I should have put a, a small slope there, but I didn't. Alright, now i got to turn this on and watch it go skyrocketing. See, now it drops back down. And, actually, let's do this now before this comes back down. I just want to make sure it doesn't stick, so I'm going to put uh, some switchboards down. Why not? They're cheap. And this is just, just to make sure that the game doesn't decide, decide to make them quit for whatever reason. And backside should be okay. He says as he's looking up at the obscene amount of weight hanging above his head. Okay, so now we have an autosave and I end up back on the ground. Now I'm just going to lower it a little bit. Actually see what I'm doing here. Oh, what do you know? We're stuck with this problem. Well, that means I gotta lower it on my own then. Now, in case you're wondering, it's a stacked air blades. Same problem as the train. Oh, good, it bounced back. Saves me a lot of work. Alright, so this is... This is basically my launch angle. This is where it's gonna be full speed basically now what I need to do is I actually get this stuff out put a little branch in here so it avoids the counterweights so we have just enough room to get two posts and a couple of blocks in there so now the question is what's gonna happen now we'll lift her up Is it all the way up? Should be. Now it is. Alright, let's do this. That's not what I need. I need my plant. My post. Okay, I'll do that. I gotta start making a dispenser. I keep saying this all the time. Someone's actually been challenged me on that to try to make some sort of thing that picks up balls and moves them around and stuff like that. What can I say? I'm lazy. Now hopefully it doesn't drop out, and that's why I had the other things there. Now the question is, do I want to do it black and yellow like the center mass, or do we want to do it red? Uh, what is going on? Really? I gotta build it over one. And it's shifting on me. <laughs> oh, this game. And. Get it over to the other side before it decides it wants to move again. Of course. Oh, let's build it. Let's go up a little. Higher. There we go. I've had I had someone tell me that they used to actually have larger balls in this game, uh, like a 
three by what was it a three by three? I think it was a one a one block part. Whereas this you actually have to make it out of seven, eight different parts. And you know what? I actually feel confident about this. I think we're gonna throw a beacon on this one. So we're gonna do yellow and black. And black. And I'll just stick the beacon where that block is. And one more. And I missed. <laughs> See if I can get that to roll over. No, I guess not. Oh wait, maybe. If I can land on it, I've noticed that the I've noticed that the ball will actually move in the direction that you're walking. The smart me would have built this on a shoot and dropped it in. Smart me's not here today, so you're stuck with me. Can I even get this in there? Ah, hell with it. Let's fire this damn thing. Okay. Oh my god, it went so fast it stopped. Oh, I gotta love the physics in this. Hmm, it makes me wonder about the, the tank now. If I make another gun, is it actually gonna do anything? Where did it go? It went so fast, it broke the game. I know the last tank I I made was actually able to go like 7k. Come on, I made this bright yellow so I can actually see it. I don't see it anywhere. Unless it's already gone. Go take a quick look over here. And I think I want to have another ball. Well, there's a red one. Gotta be over here somewhere. Maybe it just really did go. Maybe it's really gone. The game just couldn't comprehend comprehend the awesomeness of that shot. Good thing they're cheap. No clue. Let's do it again. Alright, uh. I'll bring it back. I'll see if I can uh, throw something together that'll help me load a couple of them at a time or something. Okay, so what I did is I set up a couple little loading areas here. Just a place to set up the ball and also a little area where I can roll it around try to get that last piece in. Sometimes it sits up against the block and can't get the last one in. And that just makes it a little more uniform. Now the question is, is it actually going to roll in there? That's what I was hoping it was going to do. I think it's stuck. Of course it is. Hang on. There we go. Get in there. And I missed. And I should have saved. <laughs> hmm. See how it works with this one. See if this one actually goes in. Maybe. Maybe not. 
All right, give me a second. Okay, well, I haven't had the best of luck trying to come up with some sort of loading system. I got this thing jammed. I got it somehow clipped to the wheels. I had to rebuild the rollers, which was a pain in the ass trying to get this thing to lift up and have that bar high enough so I could actually get the wheels back in there. So I did make a save before I put the last piece in there. So we're going to go ahead and launch this one, see how this does. And if it does really good, we'll load it up and throw a beacon on it. Uh, solar beacon, not one of these big, giant, heavy, massive things. Alright. And of course, it's gonna stop right there. Eye on the ball. Where'd it go? Where's it going? Yeah, it's almost like the game just can't keep up. And it just stops on a hill. You done moving? I guess so. Some of these shadows creep me out. Still don't know where the other one went. Alright, well, I obviously don't have to throw a, throw a beacon on it. Look at that beast towering off in the distance. But it's definitely getting a better launch angle um, what I I honestly, I honestly think it's just the code uh, I don't think the the real gravity pull is being affected or maybe on this planet we just don't have the same gra gravity as earth maybe it's only 0.3 so even though whether it's 30 tons of weight maybe it's only dropping like it's 200 pounds it's hard to say but I'm gonna load it up let's fire another one and that happened. Yes. That was the ball loaded. Let me try this again. Yeah. Well, good thing that was a backup save. Or a backup of a backup. I think I did have a good one here somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. But anyways, that was... Oh, there's the ball over there. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we got this all up and running. Uh, it worked until I tried to load it back up again. Oh, I gotta get inside. It's freezing cold out. Alright, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.